none of it is going to affect make me change the quality of my life to be in fear because that's another trap of going into fear and anxiety or anything any moment something's wrong with me i run to doc a doctor for them to check my heart or my blood pressure or cholesterol or whatever i don't operate from fear of death any longer that doesn't mean i'm reckless it doesn't mean that. It means that fear of death no longer has any power over me. And that's tremendous amount of freedom. Tremendous amount of freedom. When you don't have that fear any longer ruling your life, ruling your decisions, because you start to become free and live freely beyond your imagination. Because that's one fear is haunting everybody their entire life. And that's huge because it affects your decisions. Also becoming humble, realizing that everything and all of your story, your life story, can end at any moment. I consider myself a kid. When I'm in a car that's rolling down the hill seven times, I hear explosion all over, everything is breaking and popping out and falling apart. The driver of this taxi we were in was shot out of the front window. He was shot out as the car is rolling down the hill. He was gone. I was with a friend. He jumped and hugged me. Now it's two bodies attached to each other. And the car is rolling down. And I am know at this point, as young as I am at that point, that my life is over. Mommy, daddy, friends, your money, your fame, your lawyer, your doctor, nobody is going to be able to help you. It's over. It's finished. Your story is finished. You're in a car accident rolling down a hill and at any moment a piece of metal will go and cut through your neck or your gut and will break you through, cut you through, and your life is finished. You are no longer going to be around. When you have this happen to you, more than two, three times, something shifts inside you. You can't be this person who was living in an illusion in this lala land. You realize there is a higher power, much bigger than you, and you become humble, really humble that something is controlling everything. And it forces you to question things. You cannot go through these near-death experiences and not question things, not seek things, not look for this higher power. It's impossible. Something much bigger than you has saved your life has granted you to live longer. You have to find out what this is. You can't like be a kid, a child. It forces you to grow up. It forces you to drop this little me 
Oh, me, but I feel really hurt. And I da 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 da. And you didn't talk to me the other day. And you didn't pay any attention to me. And da 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 da. da and all these. Childish, stupid things that your mind is playing with you. That you play these games with yourself and other people. All these little stuff, they disappear. You no longer concern yourself by these petty things. Because your inner child is hurt, or because someone didn't pay attention to you, or they didn't look at you, or they talked to your friend and they didn't talk to you. You drop all this stuff. It doesn't matter. You don't care. The pity stuff. You can't really feel sorry for yourself either. It forces you to go beyond these things. It forces you to look deep. Wanting to know the maker. Because you realize that at any moment, at any moment, this is not words, it's a realization that you realize at any moment your story can end. That's how, for me, is every day is the only day I have. I don't have another day. And when people ask me, are you going to come back to Scandinavia or are you going to do this or that? Are you coming back to Sedona? Are we going to have another retreat? I always say, Inshallah. God willing, if it's meant to be, if I'm meant to still be alive for the next day, that's the intention. But there is absolutely zero guarantee. You all have a switch, light switch at your house. You know, what do you do? You walk into your house, you walk into your living room, you enter into the house, and what do you do? You flip this, the light switch on, and the lights go on, and you can see what's going on inside your house. You turn the light on. And the way I see it is, that's how it is, with our lives. When God turn off the switch, you're gone. When they turn off your switch, it's finished. All your jumping jacks and manipulations and going seeing your doctor regularly, taking your pills on time, you know, being afraid to go out there because of Corona, being afraid to see people you love because you may get the disease from them or whatever. None of these things, all of your precaution, precautionary action, all of the stuff you're trying to do is just a mental ejaculation. <laughs> 